Hey, what's up, guys? Just want to talk about the Rolex uh, supply cluster blank. If you're someone that's looking for one watch to enjoy and to have or a small collection, do not get caught up in the crazy wait list fiasco where you're paying way over retail. Now, these are... These two are older Rolexes. This is like 07, and this is, hell, this is from the 80s. I actually really like this a lot. I like both of them. But um, if you want to buy a Rolex that is still reasonably priced, you, before, you know, in the event they don't come out with a new one, I would quickly look at a, a Milgauss. Now, I know that most of you would want the, the model with the green crystal and all that if you're okay with it, but. You can get these for a pretty reasonable price. This, I believe, is discontinued. I'm not positive. I think they, I know they have the Z Blue and the black dial with the green. I think they have green crystal. I'm not sure if this is discontinued, but I think it is. So, anyway, this is a pretty cool watch. It's got the new, the new uh, bracelet. So, anyway. My, my thought mainly is don't fall into the BS supply waiting list extravaganza horse crap game. Look at something, if you're okay with a pre-owned watch, look at something like this Brigade Type 20 that you can get for like half of retail. And to be honest with you, if you put this head-to-head -head with specs versus a Daytona, and I know, oh my God, it's a Daytona. Every It's incredible. It's amazing. But quite honestly, this is probably a better watch when it comes down to it. So if you're looking for one watch at the end of the day, that is a better chronograph than a Daytona. And I don't give a flying blank about the comments, okay, guys? But anyway, don't fall into the game. Don't, don't listen to these idiots that talk about Rolex, Rolex, Rolex constantly. It's just ridiculous. Totally ridiculous. I have four of them, and I do like them, but because of the buckery, it's become like this ridiculous kind of like cluster of, of uh, the value and the waiting list and what's it worth and all this shit, and people aren't wearing them, and they put them in the safe and all that, but um, quite honestly, I wear... Um, See oh, shit, it knocks something over. I wear this more than all of those watches, but not even close. But I wear these two, and these have be practically become safe queens. Of the Rolexes, quite honestly, I wear this the most. It's in uh, 86 um, Day Date. But, and by the way, when you wear your Brigade Type 21, I would recommend a Glock 26 or a C-Camp 32 caliber with a special serial number that you might get canceled for having. So, anyway, guys, hope everything's going good. And that uh, you're having a nice 2021. Mine's been pretty much a disaster. With uh, frozen pipes and uh, explosions. So, hope everyone's doing great and have a good day. Out.